रिलीफ फॉर समाजवादी पार्टी लीडर आजम खान ही इज गॉट रिलीफ इन द हेट स्पीच केस द उत्तर प्रदेश कोर्ट ओवरटर्न्स द 2022 वर्डिक्ट ऑन हेट स्पीच द कोर्ट हैज सेड दैट आजम खान इज नॉट गिल्टी इन अक्टूबर ऑफ 2022 द लोअर कोर्ट हैड कन्विक्टेड आजम खान द कोर्ट हैड सेड दैट खान वाज गिल्टी ऑफ टारगेटिंग प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी एज वेल एज चीफ मिनिस्टर योगी आदित्यनाथ एंड आफ्टर दैट गिल्टी वर्डिक्ट इन 2022 खान वाज डिसक्वालीफाइड एज एन एमएलए वी We have my colleague Alok Pandey joining us to get us more on this uh, relief. A huge relief is coming in uh, for Azam Khan. Alok. Well, it's a relief in this case, but I have to also point out that if you look at, I mean, of course, an election has happened and the BJP MLA is down based on that seat, but Azam is also convicted in another case in another district in Uttar Pradesh and has got a two-year-old sentence there too. Uh, so, uh, in sense of his MLA uh, status being restored, etc., which anyway is a little difficult given that an election has happened. I think uh, that's why it's not a relief. But nevertheless, it is a relief in the sense that you know uh, the case against Mr. Khan in Rampur was quite serious, and he was convicted uh, in a hate speech case. Now, the background of the case is that Azam Khan was actually accused uh, initially before his conviction of uh, of hate speech against the Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi, and also against the Chief Minister Mr. Aditya Nath, and also of abusing the then uh, District uh, Magistrate in Rampur. And this was in 2019, according to the accusation. Now, in October 2022, uh, Mr. Khan was convicted by a lower court in Rampur and sentenced to three years in prison for this case. Uh, after that, there were a host of political reactions that came through, and uh, of course, the deputy chief minister had said that you know people should control their language. Azam Khan had said, "Look, I'm going to appeal this case," and he had actually gone and appealed uh, to the MP MLA Session Trial Court, which is the higher court in that district. Now today the higher court has uh, said that uh, he is not guilty in that case and said that you know none of those charges actually do stick against Mr Khan. So in that sense uh, it is a relief for him. And uh, now of course he will have to also uh, look at trying to get relief in the other case in which he has been convicted. But in this one, when he was accused of hate speech, uh, a senior court or a higher court in Rampur has actually said that he is not guilty. Right, Alok. Uh, just recently, uh, Azam Khan had also said that he fears, uh, uh, you know, that gangster Atik Ahmed like shootout uh, as far as his life is concerned. Well, you are right. Uh, he has been making a host of statements. Uh, politically, he does not have uh, his son, and he have both been disqualified as MLAs uh, uh, in the area. Uh, in fact, uh, he, earlier, if you remember, there was a time when uh, he had vacated his Lok Sabha seat, and then the Samajwadi Party lost. Uh, That Lok Sabha speaks. Uh, so it's that politically it's been a tough time for Mr. Khan and his family. He faces a host of criminal cases. Uh, there's been conviction in two so far. One of which has been overturned, as we just spoke about. But there are scores of other political cases against him too. And so it's a tough battle for him politically and otherwise uh, in an area that is with a stronghold in Uttar Pradesh. Right. Uh, thank you so much, Alok, for getting us all those uh, details. Uh, like Alok was pointing out, uh, he was uh, disqualified as an MLA. Uh, this is after he was uh, after that guilty verdict that was pronounced, and now uh, the verdict that's come in today that uh, that uh, UP court has overturned the 2022 verdict on hate speech. Uh, the court has gone on to say that Azam Khan is not guilty. Uh, the lower court had, in fact, last year convicted Azam Khan, but now relief coming. in for Azam Khan as uh, the there is relief for the Samajwadi party leader Azam Khan relief for him in the hate speech case